Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another Cloudmersive file processing connector in Power Automate. This time, we're going to use the connector to remove white space from a text string so all the built-in spacing and formatting goes away, making it perfect for use in cross-browser testing scenarios. Let's get right to it. On the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. Use the pop-up window to get your flow and name, and then select Manually Trigger a Flow before clicking Create at the bottom to move on. On our flow diagram page, let's get our input text content with a get file content action. Click new step and type get file content into the search bar. If you're working in the SharePoint ecosystem, pick the relevant option below and then define your site address right after from the dropdown. To get your file, use the file picker and navigate until you find it. When you're ready, we can now incorporate our Cloudmersive action. Click new step and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar to pull up a list of connector endpoints. From this list, we want the file processing connector with the purple logo. Once you select it, you can browse the actions associated with this connector or simply type in the one you're looking for. When you select it, you'll be prompted to include your Cloudmersive API key and name your connection. If you don't have a key, just register a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com, and you'll receive one right away. With your free account, you'll get a limit of 800 API calls per month, and it'll work for any of these connector endpoints. Once you've authorized access, we can quickly satisfy the action's parameters by simply clicking on the text containing white space bar and select file content from the dynamic content window. This will automatically pull text contents from the get file content step and perform the text removing operation on them directly. All that's left now is determining what we want to do with the output content from the operation. I'm gonna create a new text file for this demonstration, but you can easily update your file instead with the update file action if you don't wanna make an entirely new file. To create a new file, click New Step and type Create File into the operation search bar. I'm using SharePoint again, so I'm quickly selecting my site address before satisfying the rest of these parameters. Here, we need to define the folder path, name, and contents of the new file. To pick the folder you want, use the File Picker icon and navigate the directory until you find it. Then, give your file a name and use the txt suffix at the end to specify the file type. Finally, click on the file content bar and select the text content result option from the dynamic content window to ensure the file contains operation output. Once this step is complete, we can save and test the flow. Click save at the bottom of the page and then click test in the upper right corner. Select the option to trigger manually, then click test at the bottom again, followed by continue and run flow. Once the flow runs, you'll either see green check marks appear on each operation in the flow, or you'll get an error message somewhere along the way telling you where the flow failed. Mine worked fine here, but to make sure the actual output is what I want, I'm heading to my destination folder to open the new file it created. As you can see here, the white space is all gone from my text and now it's just a block of words heading off to the right of my page. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.